XOXO, Gothic Girl. <laughs> Pose. <laughs> Good morrow and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, I'm not sure how you got here, but certainly I'm glad you came. And if you are new here, well, you're in for a treat. All right, if you enjoy chaotic frenetic energy and you like people who do videos about how they are a clown over makeup, then I suggest you go on ahead and subscribe because now's as good a time as any. What are you waiting for? Also follow me on my socials. I am on Instagram. I am on Twitter. I am on Twitch. Come hang out there while I scream, while I scream actually, because the games are scary, unless I'm playing Lego games. All right, so today's video, uh, many of you have probably seen new makeup nonsense bingo, in which we roast and toast makeup in varying ways while also indulging in an adult libation. And I am here today with a few items in which I have uh, clowned myself over. First up, we're gonna talk about the high tie palette from ColourPop, okay? And then we're also going to talk about the Jaclyn Cosmetics Rouge Romance. Uh, okay, so I have both of these things and I, I'm a clown, okay? Listen, what happens is I, I, I just get taken over. I think a lot of us, there's curiosity, there's all kinds of reasons why we may clown ourselves and I'm here to film a video to make you feel a little bit better. So we're gonna do a look with this uh, and we are also going to swatch both of these things and take a peek at them. Now, I'm gonna try to make this short and I'm gonna try, try to make this sweet, but I can't guarantee either one of those things will happen. So let's get started. All right, so first up, let us look at the High Tide palette. I have not taken the plastic out of it, so I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. It looks just like it does in the box, which I like that. Uh, I bought this because it's blue. Let's be honest about who I am as a person. This is like a bluey green, like it's very oceanic, all right? It is a very oceanic palette. Let's come in like this. Uh, like that and then like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start the swatches. We'll start with the top row. All right, I'm showing you just a splash, which is a almost gray blue with sparkles. Which is a matte, very light turquoise, kind of a sea green shade. Finally, we'll, on the top row we have Free Floatin' which is a silvery, it's, yeah, it's a silvery light blue. It's almost gray. Urchin is going to be more of a deeper navy, um, turquoisey. I'm so bad at describing colors, but yeah. That's gonna Next up we have Must See, which is another shimmer that is going to have a more green shade to it. Definitely more green than the first two shimmers. Then we have Flora, which is just a matte gray. Muscle Beach, which is spelled like the sea creature, not the person. This one is gonna take a little bit more, but it has a little bit of a shift to it. It's got like a blue purple shift on it. And I don't know if I'll be able to capture it by camera, on camera, but I'm gonna try. Then we have New Wave, which is more of a true green turquoise. The other one was like a blue turquoise, which was Urchin. And finally we have Lunar, which is a navy blue, a matte navy blue. So that is all the shades swatched. I'm gonna go ahead and do an eye look and we'll go from there. Before we get into the looks, just a quick note that none of the shades stained me, so We'll find out on the eye later some other day. That day will not be today. But just to let you know, like there was no staining. It was easy to rinse off with just regular soap and water. We're going to try to do two looks actually, one on each eye, and let's get started. All right, my eyes are primed with the Gerard Cosmetics Eye Base, the canvas, I think it's eye canvas, clean canvas. We're gonna call it clean canvas today. I'll put the correct one here. And now we're gonna go ahead and go in with colors. And I'm actually gonna try to tell you which shades I am going in with as I go in with them. All right, for a dr dark, dramatic, smoky eye, I wanna see if we can get that out of this palette. We are going to go in with Lunar. There is a significant amount of kick up. But I am not experiencing a lot of fallout here, probably because of how I apply. 
I'm gonna go ahead and put this on most of the lid. All right, it was a little bit patchy. It could also be the brush I am using uh, because I really didn't plan out the look, but I am currently using the Moda BMX 430 crease brush. I had actually planned on just kind of using this on the outside, but then I kind of had this idea for whatever the hell it is I'm gonna do. But I do like the way it applies. It is just a smidgen patchy. Again, could be the brush. All right, I am going to go in with NYX Glitter Glue for the next step. Am I creating a cut crease? We have no idea. We're just kind of coming in and doing whatever it is that I do. With my finger, I'm going in with Muscle Beach because again, I'm trying to create kind of a dramatic eye. All right, I'm now gonna pop in with my Moda small shader brush. This comes from a, like a little kit. You can get it at Walmart. I'll have it linked below, just so that I can get in the crease. All right, and now with that same brush, I'm going to come in with Free Floatin' just around the edges a little bit. It's a little rough right there, so what I'm going to do is come in with a smaller brush and fill in with some more Lunar. I'm going to make a very small attempt at some graphic liner. We will see how that comes out. I could just ruin the whole thing, but today is a day of experimentation, correct? Correct. I use my Midas Cosmetics Neon Cake Liner, and this is some random brush that I got. I really don't know where, but it works out well. So this is where we are so far. I'm gonna go ahead and start on the other eye, and we'll be back to finish this one off. <laughs> All right, so on this eye, I wanna be a little bit more softer, a little bit more romantic, a little bit more fun. I'm going to go in with Urchin right here on the outer B. And we're just gonna gently kind of push into the crease a little bit. I like to use this big brush because it just creates like this area here and I like that. I enjoy it. Separate smaller brush. I don't, uh, this is the 282 eye fluff brush but I don't know who it's from, Inspur. I'm gonna come in with the new wave on this side. Oof, got quite a bit, packs quite a bit of a punch. They are a little bit similar, but you can see the little bit of the gradient between here and here. Coming in with more NYX Glitter Glue, I'm just gonna carve out a little section here that I've left open. I am going to grab a little bit of Must See and pop that in right on top. Ooh, that's pretty and it's fun. Grabbing a brush to finish it out and get it into the crease. Opening the eye for some of the eye wrinkles I have. Going back in with New Wave on this side just to kind of blend that out. I think I just got something in my eye. Sorry if there was a lot of blurry footage, but I, just in case I missed it, I came back in right around the edges of this eye and used New Wave, and then on this side with Urchin, so. Now I'm just gonna take a Marc Jacobs liner. All right, we'll be back to finish both eyes. Let me go ahead and get the rest of my face on, and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. The rest of my face, with the exception of the blush and the under, we, you know what we're talking about, is on. So we're gonna go back into the palette and finish out each eye. For my darker eye, I do want to take 
a small brush, which almost all of the brushes I'm using are from Moda, and I'm gonna use just a smidgen of Flora, which is the gray shade. And I am just going to kind of buff it in right here. Now it's gonna look a little nutty at first, but just give me, give me a moment. And there we go. Give a little bit of, a bit of love. All right, so now that I have that going and I like where that is headed, oh shit, okay. I am going to just take a gold eyeliner because I really like this gold eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. Uh, this is the, I don't remember what it's called and the print is probably too small, but I'll put it somewhere. I am gonna come in with a smidge of lunar on the edge of this look. And then, kind of with the same idea I went with above the brow, I'm gonna drop with the same brush Flora in around to just give it, I don't know, whatever I'm giving it. Finalmente, we're gonna go in to the inner eye with Free Floatin'. And I think I'm gonna spritz this brush with a little bit of my Max Fix Plus. Oh. All right, there we go. That is this eye. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna call it. It doesn't look fantastic yet, because we don't have any mascara on, and it's just my eye, and I'm a makeup enthusiast, not an artist. So let's go on to the other eye. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of Currents and I am just going to kind of fuck up everything that I just did with this brush. And I'm gonna buff it in just a little bit around the edges, just to soften it just a little bit. And over here, I'm gonna come in with just plain black liner because I'm being a basic ass bitch right now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new wave and pop that underneath here. I'm trying to bring it really close to where the black is so that the two will just co-mingle. I'm gonna just a little bit more new wave. For our inner eye, I am going to go in with just a splash and hope I don't fuck everything up. All right, now mascara, which is gonna be the Petite and Pretty Fully Feathered, which is my favorite mascara. All right, so this is eye number one, finished out. And eye number two. Now this is both of the eyes, which one's your favorite? Moving on to the blush. All right, y'all, so those are the eyes. <laughs> Uh, and we'll talk about it after we're finished with the blush. Next up, we have the Rouge Romance from Jaclyn Cosmetics. Out of the packaging, it's very cute. This is raised and gold. It's gold raised. It's cute. There's some sparkles around it. Um, it's a little thicker than some of the blush palettes that I've had before, but it is a little bit more. Wow, holy shit. Okay, so I've opened it up. <laughs> And I've gotta say, I am kind of impressed by the pan sizes. They're very large pans. So I am impressed, honestly. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm actually honestly impressed by that. So I'm going to swatch each one for you and let's move forward. First up, we're going to have Boudoir, which is, I don't know, a, 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 a rosy pink. I'm going to make them in circles on my hands. So this is Boudoir. That's um, more of a rosy pink than Tiru, which is an orangey blush. Then we have Tempting, which is going to be more of a mauve mauve, whichever way you wanna say it, because I don't wanna hear any shit. <laughs> That's Tiru. 
So this is all three of these. Next up we have Fancy Pants, which is um, a little bit orange. It's a peachy, we'll call it peachy, peachy pink. So this is Fancy Pants. Next up we have Pretty Posh, which I don't think is really going to be doing much for me other than making me look ashy. It is the one shade so far that I have really just been like, this is just like the one shade that I've just been like, why would you do this? It's very ashy, it does not look cute. And finally we have Ever After, which is going to be the rosiest of the shades right here. So in case I forgot to tell you which one I picked up, that is all six shades swatched out. I'm going to probably use two different ones. I'm going to use one on this side and one on this side because you know what? This is the, we're going for a half and half face today. So let's, let's party. So let's come in a little bit closer with my Midas 11, 1130 brush. This is a setting brush, but I use it for blush. Since we have like kind of a dark dramatic ass bitch thing happening over here, I think because of who I am as a person, we're going to try the Rosy Ever After shade. It is picking up nicely on the brush and I'm just going to, gen oh bitch. Oh bitch, what? The pigment. You know what, now I ain't mad. Now I'm not mad for being a clown. Get out of my face. Get out of my face. I am on this like blush love feeling. What's interesting is even though it's matte, it does have a little bit of a sheen to it. I don't know if y'all can see it, but there's a small amount of sheen on this shade. Very pretty. This is a very pretty, y'all. I may not trust Jacqueline with lip products, but I'm not mad at this at all. All right, let's go to the other side. And because I like to be um, contrary, we're gonna use Tea Room on this side. Mm-hmm. I'm a clown in the best possible way. You best believe I feel like a bad bitch right now. No, y'all, okay, okay. This one wasn't oversold. Literally, there's exactly one shade in here that I would never even fuck with, okay? We're gonna bring this up just a smidge because that's how I like my blush and we're gonna go on this side. I'm bringing this up just a little bit over here, boom because I like to look like a whole ass clown. Now I'm just gonna go in, I will be right back. I'm gonna finish out everything else, throw on some lips. We're gonna talk about it. All right, so ignoring the garishness of yellow and green together, <laughs> because that's the kind of mood I'm in today. Is it worth it? Should you pick up these items? First of all, let's go ahead and talk about the ColourPop High Tide palette. I think it's fun. It's fairly easy to work with. There's not a whole shit ton of fallout. You can easily work with all of the shades. It is, you know, good for us. Those of us who are deeper complected, it is working its way out. It is doing a nice thing. I think it's fun. You can, again, I'm showing you here. You can have smoky and um, extra. You can have just like a little flirtatious and easy to do. Like you could even make good work looks with this if you wanted to have a blue eye. So yeah, I think that this is where I think it's $14. I'm gonna make sure that I put it here. I'm trying to put the prices up for y'all. I just think that this is a fun little palette. It was worth it. Like, I'm glad I picked it up. Am I a clown? Yes, but am I a sad clown? No. Next up, y'all, this is a fucking shocker for me. This deep, the one for the deep skin, the Rouge Romance from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics is kind of a banger, all right? Let me just tell you the shock and surprise I have from this. Literally the only shade that I'm just like, why is it here? It's pretty posh. I don't know why you would put this in and call this like, hey, this is for the deeper complected folks. Hi, editing me here. I don't know where I got that it was made for deep complected folks. It's not. I'm being a moron. It's just warm. I got the warm one. So every time I say for deep complected folks, pretend I didn't say that. Thank you. I'm not an idiot most days, but sometimes. Yes. Bo, stop looking at yourself.
It's not, it's not, I'm so sorry. It is not for us. Uh, and that's like the one complaint I'd be like, Jacqueline, if you're gonna make it for deeper skin tones, make it for deeper skin tones. That shade, like if you're just gonna have two blush palettes and you're gonna have one for light and one for you know light medium and then one for medium deep, I just feel like um, just leave it alone. Just don't put that shade in there because even somebody probably four or five shades lighter than me still won't look great with that particular shade. So just tweak that and we're good. All in all, I'm very happy with the purchases I made. I don't feel bad about it. I feel good. Uh, <laughs> and we're just gonna keep going on. This is a series that's gonna continue. I hope you all enjoyed this video and the small bit of tutorial that I did throw in there. Let me know if you like me doing that or if you prefer that I just put it on and tell you about it. Uh, if you want me to just, if you like the way that I already do it, then put a rainbow. But if you would prefer that I just have it on my face and tell you about it, then put a spider and then that way I know what's what. All right, thank you so much for watching this video. If you would do me a quick flavor and give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can continue pushing me down into it so that I can continue doing what? Whatever the fuck I want to. And as usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays, yeah. All right, you know the drill, it costs zero, zero dollars to be kind, and it's so good for your soul. It doesn't mean you have to be stepped on, but you can be kind, because if you don't take care of your soul, you know I'm sure as fuck coming for yours. Until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Got the girl. <laughs> You're in for a treat. All right, if you like chaotic, oh, you know what, hold on. This was a good one, there will, oh. Oh no, where did it go? Yes, I know what you mean. And just like, the movie! Where are you? Oh, it's, you're right here. You're right here. Everything's fine. Hot dry. Everybody knows what the fuck you mean. You won't cry. You know what I mean? <laughs> yes, hot dry. Everybody knows. I won't scream. Ronald McDonald, eat your heart out. <laughs>